It says of Samuel, chapter 3 of 1 Samuel, and Samuel had favor with God, and God let none of his, none of his words fail or fall to the ground. How many know when you pray and prophesy, you are, you don't have to instruct angels. They come to serve your prayers and fulfill your prophecies. When you are under authority, like Jesus was under authority, you don't have to send people. You send your prayers and God sends the angels. (laughs) I wish I had more time to tell you some more stories. Stories like the Apostle Paul who sends a handkerchief to a demonized man, and the man gets free with a handkerchief. How did that happen? Because he didn't just send a hanky. He sent angels. How many know heaven acknowledges apostolic authority, and hell recognizes it too? How many know you want to be famous in heaven and feared in hell? What you think is going wrong, God has initiated You just got to find the right snake. God is breaking racism. He is breaking immorality. He is breaking, he is breaking, I'm telling you, we are in the middle of a cultural war in which God has stepped in and said, this is the 400th year, I will take it from here. You're going to make big mistakes if you start accusing men. I don't think men even know what they're doing. The enemy is trying to stop God's move. He's He's killing babies. You get the idea. He's killing babies. He's creating violence. He's doing what he does. Kill, steal, destroy. But how many know in the midst of that, there's another snake? There's another snake. And what I'm getting at is you're going to be very fearful. You're either going to be very fearful or you're going to live in denial. But God wants you to live in faith. And he doesn't want Eric to be the only only person praying. He doesn't want just Eric's angel involved. He doesn't want just Candace's angel involved. He doesn't want just Bill's angel involved. How many understand? God has decreed something. There's a war in the second heaven because God has made a third heaven decree. What you think is evil, God is moving for good. God has decided to free people from Egypt all the way to the promised land. How many know the children of Israel got stuck in the wilderness and God goes, I got better than wilderness for you. 